Wait, say that again? There's a mission up the road that needs two it's, concrete blocks. It's, it's mountain bridge, yeah. So it's like, if you follow the track out from where we were coming. Um, mountain bridge. Oh yeah, that'll unlock that piece of road as well. Yeah, but we need metal planks as well. So have I got to go back to the town storage to get planks, or...? Why is that mountain bridge not listed in the uh, mission list? It's a task, not a contract. Oh yeah, there it is. One metal plank and two concrete blocks. Well, I, I mean, I can drag this up here if you want. So shall I run and get some metal planks then? From, yeah, back down there. Yeah, I'll have to go back you to the You can just auto load it. Uh, yeah. You can try and get up the hill to the mountain bridge if you can't, and I'll obviously give you a push once I get back. Yeah, I'll just have to see if it's um, muddy or not. Might even be daylight soon. It always help, couldn't it? Are you getting on, pups? I'm on my way to grab the last watch point. Oh yeah, I can see the warehouse now. Yeah, this road, if we fix this road, it's no one, it's called a mountain bridge. It's like the big concrete road that runs north to south across the middle of the map. It's a pretty useful thing to have. Nice. And this was part of the release, wasn't it? That they were saying that you can actually affect your environment to your advantage, yeah. can't you? I love the fact there's loads of things to do. And yeah, when you I get don't... map mods, imagine what they can do as well. Yeah, I don't think you're going to be bored in the short term. All right, I'm back at the first bridge, so halfway there, I'd say. Okay. How um, are you getting on? Fighting through mud. Low gear, fully diff locked. In the woods. Oh, there's a crazy puppy behind me. <laughs> you can't hey, blue pup. flag me, just overtake. <laughs> Hey pups, have you been to any of the upgrade locations yet? Uh, no. But I, I can whether... go grab them if you want. Well, I wonder whether it'll do it for all three of us or whether it'll just unlock it for you. No idea. Oh, I'm back on tarmac. Come on! Nice. I'm almost back at the town. Uh, look at this, the tortoise in the hair, eh? Just overtakes pups. Bye. I took the wrong turn. <laughs> I was looking for a dirt path and I couldn't see it. Hmm. Okay. Right, okay, so when you drop things off, your truck has to be in the box, not your trailer. Otherwise it doesn't accept it. Uh, unload. Okay, I, this is weird. Uh, is it that you you can't unload the concrete box until the metal planks have been delivered? It would seem that way, yes, because the only thing that's listed is metal. So yeah, you can't actually unload the trailer yet. Right. Okay. Well, I'm I'm on the return, so I'm not uh, too far. I'm missing fuel tanker. Yeah. There was a. Task for a missing fuel tanker, wasn't there? 
Ah. Oh, right, so that's just down the road from that fuel station. It's where I am on the map, I believe. Gotcha. Is it like just a trailer or something? Yeah. So we need a truck to pull it? Yep. Does Preferably it look like a really high up trailer or like something we could pull with this truck? You could pull it. Whether you could get it out through the mud is another matter. Hmm. Okay, so you're on your way back now, Sommy, yeah? Yeah, I'm at the first bridge again, so yeah, not far. Okay. Here he is, Mr. Sommy. Interesting how there's an order that you have to deliver materials. Well, I would assume that this is going to make a bit more sense when I drop this off. That will oh, then build that. Yeah, that's why. Okay, so I'll do this yeah. now. On load. There we go. I'm trying to find my mountain path and I keep getting a cutscene. <laughs> <laughs> 1850 and 260 points. Nice. And a massive empty trailer to go with it. That's a very useful trailer. Yeah, I've um, seen it like a short and little once because has that got like four load spots on it? It must have because we've just done yeah, four so. concrete blocks. Exactly. Now down below us there in the water line, there's an upgrade. You see it? Yes. Um, and also down there is that trailer that belongs back at the fuel station, I think. So I might try and turn around, disconnect this trailer, and go down that hill and get that upgrade and see if we can haul that trailer. Uh, no, if you so, the mission was called missing. If you go into your tasks, yeah, on the missing oil tank one, yeah, if you then it says deliver to the oil tank parking. When you go down one, the fuel carrier trailer is like way up north of us at the moment. It's not that one that's obvious to us at the moment. Oh, right. Yeah, it so I think tells that one is. is a is a different one. Yeah. Hmm. Which one's that then? Unless that's just a trailer that we can nick. Could be. Right, I need to do a U-turn somehow. You going to grab the upgrade? I'd like so to. You... So have you been and done yours, perhaps? Not yet, no. I'm still on my way to the next watch point. Find me about your way, Paul. Hopefully you'll come on this bit of ground that I was sitting on. Yeah, the turning circle's not the best. But the dolly on the trailer really helps. Oh, this is so much lighter now. Yeah. Good. What have you done? Well, the trailers don't have a trailer brake, so it started rolling when I disconnected. He's doing it again, stop! <laughs> <laughs> stop it! <laughs> oh boy. Wow, there were sparks flying then. No, seriously, wow. this is like. This is a big problem. Trailer is too far away. Oh wow, well, that was lag. I, I stopped behind it and then all of a sudden it snapped to the back of your truck. Yeah, I'm just gonna park it here. Because you know where you are? <laughs> I, I roughly parked it where you are now and it just rolled all down the hill. Okay, wow. Well. Daylight! Yay! It 
So if I get this upgrade, will that get it for all of us? No idea. That was the question that I asked Pat, doesn't uh... Oh, yeah. Okay, how do we get down there, I wonder? Hmm. Okay, if I go that way, it might not be the best vehicle to do it in. I, I would suggest if you don't think it's the best vehicle, it's probably not. <laughs> <laughs> it, well, it just depends how tricky the terrain gets down there. I can't see it. This mod is unbelievably thick here. You appear to have slowed right down on the map. <laughs> yeah, the mud's as high as the tyre. Yeah, that's... that's... Not Don't want to see my... me then. I just love, like, the size of these maps as well. Like, each one just seems to be way bigger than the... mud runner. Then there's, like, multiple yeah. of them. Yeah, this is quite a big empty fuel tank by the look of it. I could definitely winch to it, I reckon. Like you say, is it part of the mission or is it hours to, for the keeping? That's a good question. The other thing is, like, if you filled it with fuel, can you drive next to it and refuel like you could in Mudrunner? I, I would hope so. I, that was certainly a dynamic that you used to have, didn't you? Yeah. See if I can get this thing back up the road. I just don't know who abandons these vehicles, you know. There's something about the graphics as well when you look at them, they're just so clean and crisp. Like the whole kind of fog. Of war has gone from Mud Runner. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, the sort of draw distance fade is is not really relevant in this particular variant now, is it? Like, you can see the detail in the distance, like you should be able to. Yeah, it just goes a little bit misty in the distance, but it's fine. It always felt like you was in a swamp in Mud Runner. Stuck in the mud. Here we go. So this gearbox has got a low and a high on it, but I can't access the high. I can. I presume that's an upgrade. Uh, yeah, like mine's grayed out as well, so I can put it in low and I can put it in neutral, but I can't put it in in high. And also, if you notice off the low, there's another two notches. And I have seen that in the upgrade list, where it's like a, an extra set of low gears that are not as durable, but give you more options in low gear. Yeah, it's, it's part of the wonderful customization that you've been cracked, I think, with this version of it. I don't think my pickup was designed for this. <laughs> Where is he on the map? Pups looks like he's in the middle of a swap <laughs> on the map. <laughs> right, I'm not really sure what to do this trailer, so I'm going to turn right and take it to the fuel station. Seems like a reasonable bet to start with. It's 
Just curious, I can't see that fuel tanker in the list of our objects. What, the one I just picked up? Yeah. Well, when I picked it up, it didn't say discovered either. On you, you went to it first, didn't you? Oh, no, you didn't. Yeah, like, I can see that fuel station from 200 metres now. There's no way you could do that in Mudrunner. Oh, Mac, it's lovely. Right, let's see what this fuel station does now. Uh, okay, Fleet Star. So I can fill up the Fleet Star truck. And then if I do RB... I don't know what let me... I want to do that. Get more forward. Hmm. Doesn't seem like I can fill that thing up with fuel. Yeah, it's all, I, 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 it feels like it's part of a mission or a task. Let's see if I can find it then. Not that one. Old block, not that one. There's a mission with your name written on it, pups. Uh, is there? Yep, it's right near the garage that we started. It's called the Place Beyond the Spruces, this discovery mission, the scout vehicle. Ah, is this it? Missing gold tank? No, that's not it. I honestly don't know then. This doesn't make much sense. There's also one for you pups called Meteorology Data. Okay. Where you've got to go to three places and check the weather. I can do that. Yeah, I can't find a mission for this, Tommy. I can't find a mission for this trailer at all. Well, you've recovered it out of a hard place, so that's maybe going to be helpful to us, but... I don't know, I was just working on this roadblock. I think I just need some service parts, which I've, I've gone and loaded up from the warehouse, so... But I may need you to uh, ping over to, you know, complete it. Oh, I found the mission for that fuel... You know the heavy fuel tanker that's there? Yeah. Okay, if you go to Contracts and then Dyson Diesel, there's a Pipe Dream mission, which requires that you deliver that heavy fuel tanker to it. Sounds like a plan. So if I clear the road, which is this roadblock up here, it should be a nice, straightforward run, really, wouldn't you think? Well, I'm just... I don't know if we can actually haul that thing yet. Well, I'm kind of thinking there's probably a contract with this thing that I've got. Right, there you go. So I've just managed to do a roadblock. So that's out the way now. Nice. Nice one. Yep, I've got money for that. So what were you saying? Dyson Diesel? Well, Dyson Diesel, there's a mission in there for that massive fuel tanker, but we don't have a truck that can hitch that yet, I don't think. That looks like you need a Saddle. fairly high up winch. A high Saddle up. high is required. Yeah. You can tell it's just way higher than the back of this truck. Let me jump back to the garage and see if I can um, fit a saddle high into the customization. Frame add ons. Yeah, saddle high, a free upgrade. Saddle for attaching heavy semi trailers. 
There you go. Well, that mission would require quite some diesel. Uh, two bricks and some metal plank. So I think I'm going to put a flatbed on the back of this thing because there's a lot of deliverable missions. I don't think there's much use for the crane. Well, there was on the Steel River Township. There's that lost container. Which is the Steel River Township? Uh, under contracts. Um, it says lost container. Deliver to the warehouse drilling parts times one. Truck with crane is recommended. So have you got to drive to the warehouse to activate that mission to find out where the drilling spare parts are? Truck with crane. Got a missing container that's carrying operational supplies. Get out there and find it and we're mighty grateful. Drilling spare parts. Do we know where they are? Struggling to get away without it. It can have... It can't have gotten far. So are they implying that it's somewhere around the warehouse? There is a sideboard trailer there. At the yeah, warehouse. So so you'd be able to, like, find it, put it onto that, and drag it back. Essentially. I've fitted a saddle high to my truck, so... If I meet you at the fuel station, see if we can grab this fuel tank. Is it possible to recover the vehicle back to the warehouse? The, the garage store can start from that. Yeah. How do you do it? In your functions. Over. Perfect. I found a tunnel. That probably goes through the next sector. Yeah, it goes to Smith Fail Dam. Still don't seem to have any more unlocks available. Although I can get a snorkel. $1,700 now. Get a snorkel fitted. <laughs> right, so if we get out of here... Activate the lost container then. Alright, so what have you fitted yourself a flatbed then? Or? No, I've just got a crane. It said crane recommended, didn't it? Okay, yeah. No, I just wondered. Because can you have a crane and a flatbed? Yeah, should be able to. I'd have thought so. It's going to be really difficult to do it on your own if you can't. Oh, I hate the way when you come out the garage it throws you out the back and then if you want to go back in you've got to drive all the way around again. <laughs> well, you could always recover by the function menu. That seems a bit hacky. Right, so I've got this oil thing, the fuel thing, hooked up. What, the, uh, moving, the big tank? Yeah, and it looks ridiculous behind my tiny truck. <laughs> <laughs> Flatbed, maintenance frame... Saddle high. Is that what you got, saddle high? Yeah, I put the saddle high on. Because that was what it said it recommended, didn't it? So, See, there's a flatbed and a sideboard bed. Yeah, and now on the GMC, it's got a sideboard bed. And on the the one that I got, obviously, to do those other missions, was just a flat bed. So I don't know that there's actually a difference other than one has sides. Yeah. There's a difference of $700, but is there functionally any difference? Well, I, I went for the cheapest because, you know, I'm a cheapskate.
Well, this fuel tanker trailer has got like three, six sets of double wheels that have been spaced quite far apart. That must be fun like, to turn then. The whole back axles are like just wheels. Weight distribution. It's pretty much built to go in a straight line though, right? Yeah, I'd say so. Oh, this game is so nice in the day. <laughs> uh, that's very, very, very muddy. Wow. Okay. You look at something on the map and you think, yeah, I'll just go that way, turn left there, go down the road, no problem. You get there and it's just not what... You just look at it and think, what? <laughs> really? Six foot of water, eight foot of mud. Wow. Hills and rocks and trees. <laughs> it was a bit of brown thing on the map. I wonder if this thing's auto-saving. Um... <laughs> <laughs> Is there a menu option to save? I believe it auto saves. I know in a single player it saves, and I thought you said when you fired up your multiplayer session that the host will auto save. Yeah, it does say that. I don't think I'm going to make it up this hill, but I'm going to find out. Well, good luck. I don't think I've got the horses under the bonnet for this. Well, who knows? Actually, it's doing pretty well, blimey. Well, are you in your um, in the fleet star thing still? Yeah. Yeah, for something that's only on highway tyres, like. Oh my god, this is so much fun, though. They've got these massive boulders in the way as well. Boulders in this game are just a nightmare. Yeah, it's classic, isn't it? And when the boulder's as big as your wheel, it's just like... Yeah, and it just goes up underneath and hits the axle. <laughs> Did I miss the warehouse drilling spare parts? One. Hmm. can find the spare parts, this will be an easy mission. Well, thanks to the opening roads that we did, I'm almost at the factory. It's definitely the way to tackle a mission, isn't it? Is to, like, unblock the roads and get the construction of the bridges done, just to make everything else easier. So I'm at this task where it says the place beyond the spruces, but there ain't nothing here for me, so I don't know if you have to teleport. That's the one on top of the hill. The truck. Yeah. Um, okay. Right, so if you jump out of your truck then. Okay. What was which vehicle was it? Uh it's a Chevy CK fifteen hundred. It's on top of the hill. Okay, move to player. No, I'm not for that. Hmm, not let me. I'm now out of it. I don't know if you can jump in it now. Yeah, that helped. I said, Are you out? And you just. <laughs> I was trying. I was like, Enter, enter the game. Are you sure? Yes, just enter. Okay, well, I'm, I'm here. Do you have to activate it or something? Which mission was it again? Uh, place the beyond place the spruces. Yeah. 
I mean, I'm, I'm up here and I can't... It's a bit weird. Yeah, because I'm like parked right on the spot. Wait a minute. I think. Got to get like right down the side of the hill. Uh oh. <laughs> we may be rolling. We may be rolling down the side of the hill right now. And you the engine stalled. It in 3D uh, on yeah, the map. It's not good. It's not you good. You just see it rolling down <laughs> on the map. So I've, I've just jumped back to your yellow Chevy, Paul. I'm now sitting in the task that says beyond the spruces and it says accept, which I've now done. Yeah. And that's completed it? Yeah. There you go. Uh, okay. So you have to activate the mission. So I had to go to the bit where it said beyond the spruces. It was like a different icon. What like a page you... rather than a... Well, why did you have to activate it? I'm assuming nobody else has. Like, if you look for the King of the Hill, for example, that was what the icon looked like. Well, I clicked on it. There was no accept. <laughs> you know, if you'd have done that a minute exactly. earlier, you'd have saved Puppy Chevy. You can have it back now, Puppy. <laughs> Is it a bit ruined? Yeah. <laughs> it's been rolled. It's, it it's barrel rolled down a hill about six times. Wow. It's not in the best of condition. Like, all the panels are, are bent. Oh, this is going to be interesting getting out of here. Well, you can just recover it. <laughs> the good call. Cheat. <laughs> <laughs> So I've arrived place. at the factory with this massive fuel tanker. Okay. And I'm assuming I've got to bring the other things here because it's sort of in that order. Lost container. I've got a missing container that's carrying operational supplies. Hmm. So for me, there's a, a, a drilling spare parts thing just spawned on the map just down the drive from where you are, Paul. Is it? Yeah. Wait, what are you, are you seeing this on the map? Yeah, I'm literally looking. So where, if you, if you zoom to where you are, yeah. The little the, the the tarmac track. There's drilling spare parts in like the, the 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 bottom of the ravine off to the right. If you're driving out of where you come from at the warehouse. I don't I see this. Would you like a screenshot? I must say I don't believe you. I just don't have it. Okay, I'll go and see if we can get it. Well, just drive out there and see if you can see. It looks like a box on the 3D map, doesn't it, pups? Yeah. I love how he's trucks in for a deal on the map, and you can just watch him move. Yeah, it's pretty cool, isn't it? And then they're even detailed, like to the minuscule amount, aren't they? Yeah. Like when he was rolling down the hill, you could see it flip. Right. So, <laughs> so there's a, a street lamp coming up on your right side. Just break. I see a box and... though now. Oh, that's what you need, I think. Yeah, I see that, but not on the map. Yeah. Well, we see it on the map, so that's helpful. <laughs> that's weird. <Yeah. laughs> Okay, well, I'll grab this then. Fasten the cargo in. Uh, once you get it on your deck, there's like a. Um, if you go into your function menu, there's pack cargo or something. That's what happened when we loaded the metal planks earlier. 
Oh yeah, pack cargo, there we go. Store crane, nice. This is so much better than just moving logs. <laughs> Found your drill bits. Let's see how grateful they are. Wow, well, that close. <laughs> yes. Well, <laughs> well, 1300 wasn't bad just to go down the road, was it? Yeah, getting there was interesting. So are you now at the warehouse? I am. Yeah, I wonder if I could come and meet you and we can take the... I think there's bricks and metal planks required for the, the diesel mission that I was doing. I can get bricks the, from here. Yeah. How many do you want? One or two? Uh, you'll have to check under Dyson Diesel. I think it's two. Okay. 